All right, geeks, we're doing some great giveaways on the channel, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you what to do and how you can win. All right, geeks, we're down to the last figure in this wave, but it is a goodie. We've got the Iron Patriot. This boy looks like a beast, ready to crack him open. Let's see what he's talking about. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so here he is in the package, looking tough. You see we got the two Buddy Thor heads in there. Art on the side of the package looks good. Art on the back is legit too. Iron Patriot, proud and powerful. The Iron Patriot is heavenly armed, high tech, and ready for battle. All right, so here he is in his plastic cage. And, oh, okay, so didn't realize this before, but his accessories actually come in a separate tray in the back. All right, so here he is in his plastic cage, and, oh, okay, so didn't realize this before, but his accessories actually come in a separate tray in the back. So in the box, we've got the Buddy Thor head with sunglasses. Glasses don't move. And we got Buddy, or <laughs> I like to call him Fat Thor. Fat Thor without the glasses. Looks kind of looking like he's chilling, kind of solemn. We've got the Iron Patriots arm cannons. Got his shoulder missile launchers. All right, this dude is solid. He's heavy. I didn't weigh him, but he's probably pretty close to weighing a pound. Closer than most figures. Paint looks really good. I don't see any blemishes. Oh, I'll take it back. There's a blemish right here. That F is kind of scratched up. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't see any other battle damage, so. Probably not. Back looks good. No blemishes, paint is even. The paint on his lower body, it's either painted to look translucent or it is, cause you can kinda, I don't know if I'm seeing under the armor or if they just did light shading so it would look like you're seeing through it, but it looks good. All right, so articulation. His head does tilt forward, straight up chin down. Head does not go back because of the top of his armor. Arms do not go up because the armor prevents it from going up. So articulation is very limited. He can put his hand to the side. That's as far as it goes. So arm articulation is very limited. Arm does rotate at the elbow 360 degrees. He does have a little bit of abdominal movement. He can crunch forward. That's as far up as his leg goes. His knee is single jointed. He can't kick his own butt. <laughs> Didn't expect him to though. Toes only point down a little bit. You can see the difference there now. That's as wide as his legs split open. Thighs do turn. Doesn't look like 360 degrees. Yeah, the top of his uh, thigh is stopping from turning. I'm sure if I twist it, it can go 360, but why mess with it? So his armor is detailed. I like here how they have the silver running. It looks like some kind of pipe running. The paint is scuffed up here on mine at both corners, which makes me think it's not a coincidence. So maybe it is supposed to look like battle damage, but I don't know because the rest of the armor doesn't look battle damaged. Probably just bad paint. I like how they have the exhaust painted here. A lot of times they would just leave that not color. So it's a silver, which contrasts really well with the blue. And yeah, his articulation is not great, but it's not supposed to be. He's fully armored up, so he shouldn't have a lot of movement. This is kind of a tank armor. It's not like Iron Man's slim armor. You can get an idea of how his knees bend there, maybe for a flight pose. So the armor plates here 
do move a little bit. They're made of rubber, so you don't have to worry about ripping them if you're careful. So you can turn them around and move his arms in and out and they'll bend a little bit. So unlike the Punisher War Machine figure that came out about a month ago, these accessories fit nice and snug. They just stick in the back in the holes back here. These two were nice and tight. Uh, I kind of had to push them in. These two weren't as tight. They were a little bit looser, but once they were in, they were solid and you can move them a little bit and they're solid enough to stick where they don't slide around or fall. So much appreciated, much improved because that Punisher uh, war machine was awful. The accessories just didn't want to stay in there and they were falling out. So all in all, this is a great figure. I mean, not much to him as far as articulation goes, um, but he is boss. He looks good, he looks tough. I mean, can't complain about this one. All right, so Iron Patriot in all his glory, he does look good. He is a bad figure. If you haven't picked him up, run out and get him. The only complaint I have is that uh, now that I'm posing him, I wish his arms would flare out more to the side because I think it would be awesome if he could kind of point his arm out at a side angle with those Gatling guns on top instead of just having them straight up. It looks kind of funky or kind of lame. But man, he looks good. Sound off in the comments. Let me know if you think he's worth it. Did you pick him up? Are you going to pick him up? What you going to do? All right, geeks, come back and check in a day or two. I'll be building the Thor bath. So we're only five subscribers away from our next giveaway, so make sure you spread the word and make sure you've done what you need to do to enter because it's coming up real soon. Until next time, geek out. All right, geeks, at 250 subscribers, gonna be giving away Jubilee and Scorpion. Then at 350, we're gonna give away the ever elusive beast figure along with a Weapon X. All you gotta to do to be eligible to win is subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications, and then go to our Instagram page, look for the post about these giveaways, and then repost them on your Instagram page. When you've done all that, come back to YouTube and comment on any of our videos, giveaway complete, and then you'll be eligible to win. We're gonna be giving away some gadgets too in the near future, so keep a lookout because you're gonna to have to come back and do something a little bit different. All right, geeks, good luck.